is the perfect chance for me to get the gizmo back. Yes! Now I can get my photo. Ah, the octopus has gone away. But where has the sarcastic fringe head got to? Oh, I've been spotted! Quick! I'd better hide in this old shell. <sighs> the fringe head won't find me in here. Sarcastic fringe heads like to live in empty shells. I'm completely stuck. What am I going to do? Maybe Jen can help. Uh, Jen, I found a fringe head. Brilliant. Can you send me a photo then? Uh, well, I'm certainly close enough to take a picture, but I'm not sure that this is the angle Mr. Hammond had in mind. Well, what do you mean? I'm stuck behind it inside an old shell. It doesn't know I'm here, but any ideas how I can escape? Hmm. Mr. Hammond's book said sarcastic fringe heads were very territorial, so they'll fight off anything that comes near their home. That's true, Jen. I've already seen it chase off an octopus. Well, my scans say there's another animal approaching your location now, so I'm guessing the fringe head will leave any moment now to chase it away. Oh! Ah, you're right! This is my chance to go and get that photo. Thanks, Andy out. Right, let's go. I wonder which poor animal has attracted the fringe head's attention now. Uh-oh, it's another male sarcastic fringe head. And two males in the same territory spells trouble. They're pulling faces to make themselves look scary. What a funny way to settle an argument. It's more like kissing than fighting. Oh, oh that saw him off. Hopefully now I can finally get my photo. Say cheese. Done. Right, I think it's time I got out of here. See you later, sarcastic fringe head. Ooh. Opening sub hatch door. Let's all go on an adventure.